so what is up guys welcome back to my channel this is melvin bringing you another sneaker review today and this is the adidas oswego in the pride colorway <laughs> This is a reworked version of the original silhouette, the Oswego tree from the late 90s. You know, when I first heard the name, I thought it had to do with the Ralph Simons range of sneakers bearing the Oswego name. And I said, Simons, not Simons, because he is Belgian, so yeah, let's leave it at that. Anyway, I did the research and learned that the Oswego emerged some 20 to 30 years ago. I think it is really wonderful that Adidas is reimagining all these classics. Uh, it will certainly bring back memories, especially if you have owned or have always wanted, you know, a pair of these back then. So this in the Pride colorway dropped June 1st, uh, followed by the Solar Yellow on the 22nd. Although some colorways have already surfaced or rumoured including an all-black pair, uh, this on my hand, I believe, is actually the first of the modern day Oswego range of sneakers. This kind of went under the radar. There wasn't any hype on the Oswego, um, mainly due to the fact that they they have been overshadowed by the weekly releases of you know Yeezy shoes throughout June. I mean, you have the 350 V2 Black, uh, 700 V2 Venta and Tefra, which were just released two weeks apart. Uh, what else? The region exclusive 350 V2s and lastly the 700 V1 in the black utility colorway. That is a lot of Yeezy so and with a lot more in the coming months. So it is no surprise that nobody's looking at the general release model such as the Oswego but you should. The reason I say so is because at retail this only costs US $110 versus 220 to 300 for a pair of Yeezys. In terms of value, you get a lot bang for your buck because the Oswego is incredibly well made with a nice mix of materials including 3M detailing and suede which always adds a touch of luxury. The tongue I believe is leather which wasn't necessary. They could have gone with mesh but you know this kind of adds more punch to the shoe. Great great value. And if you had watched one of my recent videos, I did mention that I only paid 47 US dollars for this. You see, June was my birthday month, so I had a discount with a couple of vouchers that could be combined with. It's a no-brainer, it's an absolute yes. I would pay even if this retails at 50% more, uh, because as mentioned earlier, this doesn't feel like a cheap pair of shoes. I truly understand that not everybody has $100 to spare. I am merely making a point about its quality in comparison with other shoes of similar price bracket. Bracket. So for that, I am simply saying that the Oswego is worth the money. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the shoe. Perhaps ignore the colorway for a second because I know it is not for everyone. But aside from showing love and support to my friends in the LBGT community, I think this colorway is absolute fire. Now, I wouldn't call this a dead shoe. It is bulky, but not as chunky as you might think. I really like how it accommodates uh, my white feet. And speaking of that, I'm typically a size US 9 half. I go to a size 10 for ultra boost shoes and 350 V2s, but the Oswego runs large. So this is a size 9, uh, which is half a size down from my true to size, and it fits perfect. I think if you have narrow feet, you might even go a full size down, but half works for me. I doubt this silhouette in whichever colorway, unless it's a collaboration, will sell out. So try on at the store just to be sure. And the sole unit is Adi Print Plus, which is similar to the Yeezy 500. It is not exactly new or groundbreaking technology, but it does the job fine. Uh, the cushioning is evident and very comfortable to walk around with. As for the weight, it is pretty okay not too heavy uh, mainly due to the mesh upper which is of course light and very breathable i also like how the toe box area has another layer of material 
it certainly adds a nice touch to the overall shoe. And just look at those stitchings. They are flawless. Every angle reminds me of how beautiful and well made this shoe really is. It is amazing. And there you have it, the Adidas Oswego in the Pride colorway. So guys, this is where I end my video. Tell me what you think about the Oswego silhouette. Drop a comment down below if you have questions. Stay on with the video for on-fit footage as usual. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And until the next episode, you guys, take care. Peace. Uh -huh.